Okay, hello and welcome to a Geek and 8 Valley of MLP Vlog. Finally, the end of the year. Not quite done with MLP for the year yet, but we'll get there at the end. Uh, go today, first now, we have School Rain, written by Nicole Dubach and Josh Haber, Carl Patrick Penley. Like, for all, what a couple with that title? I get it, it mirrors the game from Mirror Full Day, but what go rain? That's not a word, you can't just make up words for pun, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Go premier event, magic of failing, all clock of Equestria. Um you know, and they get got to figure out what's going on, going to embark on real quick to figure it out. And they leave Koki Glow, that child that will be forever in the end of what I believe, I believe. Um leave her in charge, well they are off doing something else and um and then things go from there. Um, I won't spoil the nature of the villain, by the way, in a bit, because it's pretty major, anyway. Go, but it's a big part of my feeling of the one, go. It's going a bit. But anyway, uh, the game finale, in general, I will get it pretty good. I actually did like it more than the King Kevin one, which is weird. That one probably better, and again, that was a little deeper, and featured themes that are probably newer to the King and more interesting concept. But one of the content that go out of left field and weird and different, but I kind of just made it more satisfying, you know. And it become quite refreshing that made it feel, even though then like it took something different about not really going much deeper. Again, thematically, there's no big lesson necessarily, and nothing that we haven't seen in the show before. You know, friendship with magic, blah blah blah, nothing that new, you know, we're kind of finding an offending to what we've been doing, but nothing deeper than what we've done before, you know. And definitely a preview finale and did, and I'll get that to there at the end of my problem there. But, you know, the main conflict and what we do in depth is different enough to give it an edge. And it made it seem like you're very cool aware of the kind of trope in the team finale, where you kind of just do something wildly different, while still keep it in the box of what they usually do, and that made it pretty entertaining for me. Um, you know, yeah, nothing deeper, no emotional moments, no song. I guess we should not do no team finale anymore, that's three in a row, you know. But again, if he and like, haven't I get it because we're doing the movie? So maybe it would cut down on Kong, go up, you know, finally had to be a, um, you know, a casualty, but come on, man, King, in this one, I guess they're ruling really over for the movie, only next thing in, now the movie far behind them, we'll be able to, you know, have more Kong, but, but yeah, it, yeah, yeah, a bit, oh, I won't phone coming, Chuck and Anke, you just sort of redeemed, because, uh, <laughs> oh, we'll talk about <laughs> Uh, redeemed. Like, you know, at the end, he's king. Okay, I can't remember and that friendship is good and whatever. Go, so he's not raking anymore. Remember, he was raking to get a finger to the pony. And that just sort of resolved. Like, I tweeted, friendship ending raking him. Yeah, I don't know, it's the whole troll land thing, and Smallfoot recently had something like that. Oh, that way better. Uh, <laughs> uh, great. I don't have to imagine Nate Garrett King in real life. I call him from <laughs> Which is the back on the cloth about it. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, um, but that was kind of dumb. I can look past it, but it like, you had to do one thing that annoyed me, right? But at least from Lars, it's not great. I wish he had teamed up with one of the villains, so I could make a picking the main joke, you know, what are we gonna do tonight? Uh, but, oh well, um. Cool, yeah, that's the main opinion, but I now I have to get into spoilers, so, yeah, but, you know, I found generally entertaining how different it is, even though I know a lot of people are going to just like it for that same reason, and, you know, while it doesn't go any deeper, and I thought it got a great finale, not necessarily, but I thought, but still, we made it entertaining and unique. But now, to this kind of point, so, um, Koki Glow is the villain, Koki Glow is the villain. Yeah, a child. Ooh, we got a couple of code, and now the villain. A child is our villain. And Shannon, she, she apparently, she was pen, pen pound with T-Rex, and them were, like, teaming up that. 
got the boat rolling. He never escaped, by the way. He's dang guitar and <laughs> working within there, you know, doobie. Pound with Kokugo. Apparently, they just let you be pinned out with people like T-Rex and they just don't care. You know? But yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that, like, at the end of Life and Eve. Before that, it was usually going to be a little cute trial, but then the, the tail end of that episode, they hint at it, and here is the V of the villain. And her goal is not go much deeper than she, she basically wants to harness the magic of friendship, seeking friendship and power, and she wants to abuse that and sort of take over. You know, and she's been manipulating them on the inside, like, Life and Eve had that big time. You know, in order to get among the rank, you know, and be able to get, take a fresh school more easily, you know? So, um, I thought she would get to with Nikkei at some point, but that's not gonna happen, she's just gonna pretend to be with him. Um, I'm kind of hope, she's gonna, like, team, okay, she's gonna really team up in any way, I guess. But anyway, a couple people might kind of go a little, and the best part, she's not redeemed, because she take it to Tarnak at the end of it. <laughs> Uh, and even sort of, and we'll forgive the creepy cloak, smile as you get down, and it's like, yeah, like a child should not have that deep of a motivation, she's not like, oh, I have no friend, yada yada, no, and some people might look like that, because they're very stupid, and silly, and not kind of cool, and short jumpy to have his own, be a child this deep into the theory, and have her be just this, Weird, and have her not the one film we don't redeem, and it's a good child. Some people either love that or hate it. I kind of loved it. It's just go out of left field, and that like for one, I think the image did a great job making her look go devious that mile. And I do think of, I do think of what you become. Oh, she go cute, that kind of a little too obvious. She went out front and becomes all like they should be falling for this kind of current point, especially in this one. But, not too big a deal, um, but, it just, you go devious, and she doesn't have any deep motivation, and I kind of like that, to have a villain who did evil for evil cake, and as long as they keep any good entertaining, that's fine, and they do that, and not redeeming her very much of breath of fresh air, yes, they made that up, up for that when they came, but, oh well, you know, and yeah, it's cruel, that the one time they kind of do it, they do it with a child, but, she can go evil, and I hardly think of her much of a character. Anyway, that's not uh, too hard to like, she can be my... I don't know, she can evil, but she can evil. I mean, she teamed up with here, like, like that guy, co-creation. But still, but either way, I've got of all the villains in the show, trying to run together, some of them, you know, right on the side, like, kind of, like, generic evil. Or Tim Shadow will be kind of cool, but kind of get more to it before. But once of all, I have a very tragic backstory that will cause them to get redeemed inexplicably. You know, in our show, we're kind of doing it too. Go so after all that, we're feeling like that. It's nice to have one who isn't evil, not only evil for your cake and not redeemed, but a good child at that. I don't know, just go fresh, you know, at this point, a novel, in a way. That even though, okay, I'm sure, sure they, like in the movie they had Storm King to quarter off get that, and I like, I probably liked him better because he will be able to be more of a villain. Working in, in Tampa, yeah, you know? yeah, you know? you know, and I feel like it's nice that they, almost they were like making fun of, I don't know, they almost were making fun of us for like wanting a more complete villain called King, but make it a child, and I kind of liked that. You know, Glenn Elon got very entertaining because of how evil she is. And I like the idea of a villain who works from the end time. I pretend to be among them because she can take care of them a bit more easily. Now, that's a unique idea for the show. They haven't really explored that much. Yeah, I can get a key in that. I've done a lot of just stuff I've seen before. It's nice to have something it was somewhat different. You know? So, yeah, I quite enjoyed her, her pregnant. You know? And that's more like what the king. Too far amount to them, you know, you know, I'm referring not to Kogi Glow being all evil and them having to stop her, or well, it, you know, trying to figure out how to get the magic back, you know. And the chair of Kogi Glow, he didn't do a ton, but I liked him. Uh, the actor kind of slightly different, that made Kogi Glow to be weaker, Kogi Glow to kind of weaker, but he's not kind of good. It's been, what, four years since we've seen him? Man. Oh, but how four? Gee, that feels long ago. 
And I'm with Benton Keacher back, but Night Granny back. Oh so yeah, um, go so yeah. Overall, I wouldn't put it in great or even very good because again, it doesn't go any deeper nor doesn't it do anything new in terms of story itself. And it come a concept with a moment for a little odd for me, but the villain and go out of the field and go refreshing that just made it very entertaining for me and, and you know and it gave you know, something to fresh to end on fresh but familiar and I can make some stuff in came before and new things even if they don't run deeper than what we came before it made it a good way to end with King and, and I even though yeah Shadow Play probably technically better I do think this one was more entertaining and had a better ending so yeah uh cool rank I liked it, it yeah it was pretty entertaining um I I should probably put my favorite from the king. Just yeah, before Kobe Low being so delightful, you know. But um, <laughs> but yeah, that is cool rating for you. The king of finale and so and king and eight. Um, king and eight. Um, uh, well, the first thing I want to say, but before I talk about that, it could be a little bit in that um, the king and over. But on October twenty tenth, they are doing a uh, heartwarming Black Christmas. Special, but I'm kind of looking at special, kind of like do the Electric Girl special, which we're apparently getting going to work next year. Oh, okay. And the two from the. Uh, uh, both figure, I believe, are getting a DVD release. So, that's cool. Um, uh, but yeah, and now I'm looking at special from the main hearing. But, but, on the. But have been going soon after King Valley Weird. And I wish I lords it to Aaron Kirkman get going into Cumber to the King Valley. They killed the whole ball of hell off on it. The King is over. It's not like we have the pressure to air it when during the King and like they don't want to be closer to the King over, but King is gonna be like outside of King anyway. What's the point? You know? But whatever. I'm looking forward to it, but I'll see you a few days before Halloween to talk about that. Like, go, you can shut the video now if you if you don't want to hear me talk about me again, and just care to hear my thoughts on the upper code, then yeah, you're done, you can go home. But, if you are interested, uh, King and 8, yeah, I will, I will call it good, but definitely a little weekend and even one. I like it black when, uh, and even then, I like about much of the one, and, you know, um, everything, and especially King and Kevin, and that's the best comparison. Local team I liked, but didn't feel like enthusiastic about them. And while well, yeah, you can say when a show goes on and you reach the height of being into it, you're gonna go down and you won't be able to get into it. But I'm gonna hoping for something to happen to get my hype up. Like you know, like the premiere that they had, they had the movie, and while that was all cool and all, that didn't really make me go. It, Get that big of a reaction out of me. I'm hoping you can get eight good fix that. And the King of Me or King I can do that. But unfortunately, with King it definitely. Uh, King of Kevin will be able to. A lot of a bit of repeating and a bit of story that felt like they should have been in a few King of earlier. And they still did become a pretty interesting new idea that were at least really good, like a hard point tail and a perfect pair. There's nothing in the King getting close to that level. And one of them will really make a Christmas Carol, essentially. Um. My two favorite for the Kingdom were the Mean Kick and On the Road to Friendship. One of, one of which is, one of which has a few minor writing issues when it comes to a dynamic. They meant dynamic and it's not one of the deeper story which I'm never told anyway. And I just like it for how entertaining and funny. And the other in pure entertainment in in, in the story more or less turn of harmony again and a couple other minor writing issues. The two best that from the Kingdom for entertainment value and the writing is not great. They're not an epic in the king and I thought was very good and unique. They're coming up with like a live penny that takes stuff we've seen before but repackaging it in a pretty unique way. And they're up with like this and that and we're able to do a few unique things. But most of the king will go hot stuff I've seen before and, and it's not like we're trying. No, not, we're not trying. But Friendship School was a pretty interesting, unique addition and the food game were all cool, interesting. But it seems like that where the product stopped, you know? You know, in terms of coming your idea, okay, I think like we're trying, but a lot of it is stuff, it, 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 when a show gets to the point of start to repeat itself, and too much, I feel like, it's doing it enough thing to where I'm enjoying most of the up and it, oh, by the way, a few too many up and go going crazy about, like, a matter of principle, yakety-yak, 
la Friendship University. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned them all. Oh, uh, and the non-compete clause will work up again because it was just regretting that single one, and it was mostly the slightly new thing that felt that brought that up a little bit. And Friendship University just got all up. It's the flim flam brought it up because somebody else. again, but the character is just not seeming to get it. Yeah, it's been done before, you know? And they still do enough to keep it entertained, but I've been faking a lot about this lately, and I was so hashtag me a fair bit. And I don't think it's them getting lazy. I think it, when a show gets to King and Eight, and you've done so much, you're gonna run out of way to spice me up. And I like to impress you. Like, come up, come up, because we're better and good and really good in King Art. Things that I don't impress me, but because we're so proven because we do that. You know, they haven't done anything really unique, like, tackle a tough project matter, like, an episode like The Finish, which might, you know, look like that, or an episode like Men in Fencing, which is especially emotional. Nothing on both levels. They try. There are episodes that come close, but I've been even more of one, and they're coming. That, an episode like Fire Road Beat, tried, started to touch on Come Deeper, but fell back on stuff we had seen before. And even an episode like that, like, an episode like being a father, that episode, being kind of repeaty and kind of a problem, and it should be more unique, you know? Go ahead a whole. But King Egg's still entertaining and good for what it is, but it definitely feels like a step backward, even though it's still trying. And I believe it's just that you subconsciously just kind of. I think subconsciously you just sort of like, like a team, kind of get burnt out and don't come up with many creative ideas by the time you get to King Egg, even if you're trying. But the fact they couldn't get an episode that was found great, and the best could be just be really good. Well, at least in Kick a Cat, I felt similar about those. I can't know. Um, you know, Vogue had a perfect pair, which was a very unique story, I thought, for the show at least. And they're trying, but I think the DNA is just worth it. It's a weaker good game, but still solid, but nothing fantastic. Yeah, when you got a few too many, you can usually just like one or two weaker ones, they kind of like a few. Although, I say yakety yak, not could be called or two, you know, for the Blom F one. Look at the other ones, which are just kind of a big bag, like the Break Up, Shake Up, or Matter of Pinkable. Break Up, Break It Down. Um, you know, you know, King could be very entertaining, I believe. Come up and go, are pretty funny. Uh, more code maybe for me and again. I think I'd be focused more on that than anything else, right? Yeah, but still, I like the fair bit here, but nothing great. If the lack of anything really strong, working a fragment of anything and too bad for the most part. You know, that point making it kind of a point where I kind of realize I'm kind of just not getting the show anymore, and I believe the show will do a little bit better. I might. Yeah, that might be fixed, but. That why I'm glad King and I know hopefully be lucky and if that one bit and on the road the friendship they gave me to go I go go then they can end on a really strong note and when they should have maybe the front ending a few years ago. And the fact that the big movie was just a thing that happened and sort of like that kinda got all right. Go yeah, um a deacon enough King in, but definitely didn't do anything that new and I you know it's weird for me to be done because a lot of people are the ones that do that, but that's how I feel. But I told the end of the show, just the good thing where I got like into it and left more willing to do these dumb vlogs. Because, like, you know, you know, but which one that you know, I can consider just doing them in journal form, just running them down, but still doing, you know, thought comments they clean away, but, but still doing a vlog on the lack of like, or two, you know. Well, but I'll change my mind by the time we get there. I thought doing a VR hopefully for the special, it will give me that, okay? But Wookie, Wookie, be the way, you, in some way, you, you will join me next year for King and I, which will hopefully be the last King and I, which I really need to. Long go on a high note, it could be like a better time. It went on a little too long, kind of off my interest, but it had a cringy, awkward ending that made me glad we got, we got to have a finale like this, you know? Anyway, very skinny and fresh magic, a little disappointing, but you know what? The crew's still trying their best, and I don't think of the lack of effort just that happens when you get to King and A to the show. Go, so, oh well, uh, you can't that not get to the show. It's a cat that 
the aura of people you could just feel across the fan of people just watching the show to watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple people into it, but not so much. I just kind of miss 2014 to 15 where it just feels like too much energy. But uh, I guess that's what happened. Uh, I also wish it wasn't the only thing on every family worth a damn, but yeah, about a happy eight year. Yay. Um, <laughs> uh, my, oh, a buddy of mine did a video on the hub that I'll link below in which uh, she talked about um, some stuff about the hub. So, yeah, I will see you on 20 Kevin's, hopefully, for that special and that gear from the end of a Dark Mammoth for Vlog returning in January, apparently. Uh, go, which is still a farmer that's in it at the moment. Go, so, yeah, I shall see you all then.